In this video, we are going to look at how to use array and when to use array in Java with practical examples. So let's get started. We have a scenario where we want to store salaries of five employees. So here we have to store salary of five employees. There are two ways to solve this problem. One is to create five variables. So this is the first way. And the second way is to create an array. So we'll, we'll look at the second way, which is creating an array. So before that, let's look at the definition of array. So go to the PDF, let's look at the definition. Array is a collection of similar types of elements. That means you can store multiple type of elements who are same in nature. So integer array means you can store multiple integer value. Long array, that means you can store multiple long values. So let's try to go and declare an array. So let's try to declare an array. Declaring an array is straightforward. Integer array, salaries, and that's all. This is declaring an array. So you define integer, which is data type of an array, and then square brackets and name of the array. This is declaration of the array. Let's now try to allocate memory for this array. To allocate the memory, you can create new uh, integer and the square bracket. You can give the number of elements you want in that array, which is five in our case. So this, the left hand side part is known as declaration. The right hand side part is known as memory allocation for the array. So it's clear. Let's go to the PDF integer square brackets salary this is known as the reference and the right hand side which is new integer array is an object so this is memory allocation for an array let's try to see how to add values to the array how to add values to the array this is our next thing we are going to see so to add values to the array we have to use the variable name which is salaries in our case and use the index to which we want to add the value. So at zeroth position, I'm going to add 10,000. And at first position, I'm going to add 11,000. So let's try to add 11,000 at first position. All right. So this at zeroth position, I added 10,000. At first position, I added 11,000. Let's now try to print what is at the zeroth position and what is at the first position. So to access the elements of array, you can use salaries, salaries of zero. This will give you the zeroth element from the array, which is 10,000 in our case. Let's try to print it. And it gave us 10,000. Let's now refer to the first element, which is 11,000. So if I go to the first element, uh, salaries of one, which is index one, so it should give us 11,000. So let's try to run the program. It gave us 11,000. So now we saw how to add values and how to retrieve value from the array. Now we are going to see what are the ways in which we can declare the array. We saw the first way where we can declare the array and we can also do memory allocation of the array. So there are multiple ways of declaring the array. So let's try to remove this. So integer salaries, integer salaries, and this is your declaration. So I can also write square brackets here or after the salary. So this is your declaration. I'm not doing memory allocation at all for this array. So this is declaration part. Now let's try to do memory allocation for this array. Salaries equal to new integer of five this is where i am allocating memory for my array so this is the first way of declaring where i am doing declaration and then allocation of memory for my array now you can use array similarly to what we have done earlier i can add uh, suppose this time fifteen thousand. Uh, the employee got incremented and i'm going to print this value which is salaries of uh, zero let's try to print this run as java program and you got fifteen thousand. all right perfect 
So this is the first way where we can declare our array and then allocate the memory. So there are multiple ways in doing so. This, let's look at the second way. Let's go to our PDF. So this is the first way where I declared and then allocated memory. There's a second way where I'm going to do declaration and allocation on the same line. So let's do this declaration, declare an array, also allocate memory for the array. So let's try to do so. Integer salary is equal to new integer of five. So here on the left hand side, we declared the array, and on the right hand side, we allocated the memory for an array. And now we can use this array similarly to what we have done earlier. So this is one way of doing it. And the last way of uh, using declaring the array and initializing the array is you can declare the array with initial values for the array. So this is also useful when you want to declare and initialize the array at the same time. So let's try to do this integer array of salaries equal to you can have curly braces and then you can add 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, and 14,000. Okay, so here we are not defining uh, the number of elements in the array because Java will look at this 10,000, 11,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and Java will know that there are five elements in the array. So let's now go and print the 0th and the first. So element at index 1, let's try to print it. So I can use salaries and the index is 1. So it should print 11,000 run as Java application. So it's 11,000. So we have 0th element, first element, second, third and fourth. Let's now try to prefer the element at index 5. So index 5 does not exist because in Java array start with zero and end at n minus one. So in our case, we have five elements. So the index of last element will be four. And I'm trying to refer fifth index. So this will give us an uh, array index out of bound exception. So it gives us array index out of bound exception. So we covered majority of aspects of array. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for joining.